That's <laughs> how you know you got a good team. <laughs> this, this is this is what friends are for, people. Uh oh. Woo! Can't believe I escaped that one. Hello there. Okay. Woo! We got one. Loving it! As a Canadian, I call this champion Zed, but for you Americans, I guess it's Z? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Twigger, that of course is Lola, and we are back with another League of Legends all random, all mid game. And we got Zed for this one, which I'm actually pretty damn excited to be playing, um, because. You know, you've got the new lethality. I don't even know if all the new lethality items are in Aram. They are. So all the new lethality items, of course, for Season 10 are available, including on Aram. So it's one of those things that I kind of just want to see. Uh-oh. Woo! We going hard! We going ham! We going green exit ham, boys! Okay, I'm going to leave now. Oh, we got him too! Oh man, now that was the start to the game. My hands are so cold and I don't know why. Okay, so we went absolutely bonkers on that one. Um, so for Zed, um, an interesting thing just to note in regards to like the season 10 changes. Um, oof! Ow! Stop hitting me with things! Get off of me! Um, is that I've actually gone for a little bit of a different rune setup than you would normally go. So, of course, the standard, I've gone Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, and Ultimate Hunter, which I'm already at 4 out of 5 stacks at level 4. That feels great. Um, but I've now gone for Presence of Mind and Coup de Grasse. Um, it's one of those things that normally you would never go Presence of Mind, because how did that... What? Oh! Oh, God. Was that too risky? Ugh. Um, Presence of Mind normally just does, um, of course, like an increase in mana, um, with the cooldown reduction, um, of your ultimate. But, with the changes that were made to Presence of Mind, it now also can increase your maximum energy, which is kind of insane when you think about it. Um, that's a really big impact for assassins. Um, so, I'm definitely gonna see if that's gonna have an impact this game. I think I've already, like, nearly got, like, the full increase of that, because it's, it's on takedowns. Oh, we got her! Probably gonna die for it, but totally worth it! <laughs> oh, it wasn't worth it. I got shut down. 310 gold? Being 2, 0, and 5? That was 300? That seems a little bit ridiculous. Okay, so we're just gonna go right into some good old-fashioned attack damage and into lethality. Um, you definitely don't want to get, of course, the, uh, the Sanguine Blade. Because when you're near one or fewer visible champions, like, it's Aram. You're always going to be around more people than just one. So, I don't think we're going to go for that one. That has no place, I don't think. So, I think we're going to be a little bit different in our... Ugh! Oh, I really wanted to get that snowball kill. That would have been fun. <laughs> oh, we got him! Okay. I just want to get my ulti. I just want to make those really, really cool Zed plays. That, of course, a person like me should be able to make. Oh, there was the damage, people. Man, Zed's combo does actually feel very satisfying. Zed's one of those champions I just wish that I could play better. But in terms of what we've got in this game, we haven't even talked about that yet. On our team, we have got a Cho'Gath, a Kai'Sa, Zed, Garen, and Yumi. Amazing having that Garen-Yumi combo in this game for us. Got her. Um, and then on their team, they've got a Vagar, a Kassadin, a Braum, a Senna, and a Lulu. Which are, once again, pretty interesting combos here. Oh, God. Wait, we really want to go hand there, huh? Oh, there's the ult. Did, okay. Okay. I'm back on a killing spree. Yay. Oh, God. Woo! Uh, didn't hit anybody. Okay, so we don't have our ultimate for another 45 seconds, but yeah, we already got the increase in our maximum energy. So we got 250 max energy, which is now kind of nuts, because you can just throw your combos so much quicker now, because you're not going to run out of energy as much. So I find that kind of... I'm not going to call it broken, but I'm going to call it pretty damn good. Oh! 
That seems aggressive. It worked. So you gotta give, gotta give him credit. Why is my whole team going in? <laughs> well, Gary knew me, I mean. <laughs> Nothing like the Garen Yumi combo. I can't believe we got Garen and Yumi on an ARAM game. This is just gonna be dumb. Okay, so let's get this, try to heal up a little bit. We're 5, 1, and 10, which I gotta admit feels pretty good. Let's feed the Poro too. Everybody always gets mad that we don't feed the Poro. Where's the Poro? There, ah, there's the Poro. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy your Poro snack. Okay. So I've got my ulti. It means I could probably assassinate somebody. Um, but I'm scared to because, of course, I'm not the healthiest right now. But there's the Braum shield and there's the Sentinel. Oof! Nice! Okay. Ow! Why does everything hurt so much? Okay, so it looks like our team is actually doing pretty damn well so far, not gonna lie. Oh, this is probably gonna hurt him. Or is it? Um, I would really like to get assassinated. Uh, or executed, sorry. Assassinate. I don't want to get assassinated. That's actually the worst thing that could happen to me is to get assassinated. I want to execute myself. Preferably under the turret. Oh! 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 oh. Still alive, technically. Oh, never mind. That was just the. Oh! Grabbing it! So the problem is, what I'm gonna think is gonna be an issue here is eventually, Cassidy just gets gigantic. Ow! Leave me alone! Oh, why does everybody hurt so bad? Okay. I want to go back. I got my ultimate in one sec. Oh, it's up now. Oh, it's up. Oh, it's up. You know, you know we going. Um, could I actually like? Okay. Ow. Okay. So we got to kill onto the Senna. That's a pretty decent thing. Cassidy, though, five, four, and three. He's stacking up his rod of age. Oh God. Oof. You know how I love my damage. Okay, so so far this game is actually going pretty damn well. Um, but their team is just so scary, but we've got a Kaisa who scales really well, Garen scales decently, Yumi scales insanely, so I, I think our team wins this later, but right now we haven't done a lot of damage to the turret, but it is 22 to 10, so we're, we're feeling good. And they don't have anybody who's like, they don't have anybody fantastic at killing- Oh god, I went right into the- No! <laughs> Damn it! I, I actually thought that my, um, my shadow wasn't, like, on the Vagar stun, but it was 100% on the Vagar stun, and I used my W back, and I just went right into them. But I've got, like, 4,000 gold, so what are we gonna do here? Let's get Dust Blade just because it's such a good item on Zed. Um, and then what type of boots do we want? I feel like we need magic resist, because they're, like, their entire team is magic damage. Even though I don't really want to go that, I just feel like that's going to make a lot of sense. Just in terms of me not getting CC'd as badly, you know, like everybody on their team is doing quite a bit of magic damage. Um, and my main thing is just preferably not getting stunned up by that Vagar E for as long as humanly possible. That That's the goal, is to just be able to not get destroyed by Vagar. Even though I'm probably still going to get destroyed by Vagar. Snowball kill! Oh. Woo! So is Kaisa going... Oh, Kaisa's going AP! I like it! I like it! Uh. Okay. Oh! The Sniperinos! That's not gonna be enough. It was close though. 
I really thought that if I engaged there on the cast, then we would have been. Why was I tanking the turret that whole time? I thought that the Garen was gonna be taking the turret. He was under the turret for like that entire fight. And then all of a sudden the turret went on me and it was like, no, 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 Zed, we're gonna kill you. The turret is gonna focus you, Zed. Okay, so we've got those two lethality items. That feels fantastic. Um, the Umbral Glaive, 50 attack damage, 10 cooldown reduction, 12 lethality when spotted by an enemy ward. Yeah, I'd see, it doesn't really make sense to go that either. Just doesn't really, because they don't even have any traps. So that's kind of pointless as well. It does like decent attack damage, and I like the cooldown reduction, but I just feel like the, the standard combo of the three original items, um, like the Dust Blade of Drakthar, the Ghost Blade, and the Edge of Night, are just kind of too good to pass up on Zed. The other two just don't seem to make much sense in ARAM. I just want an assist! Or the kill! Damn it, he was so low! <laughs> Did he ult me again? I feel like I'm the only one getting ulted by this damn Vagar. Which, to be honest, is smart. The Vagar should be focusing me. Did that stun our Yumi? Oh, that's just unfortunate. I felt like the Yumi wasn't in that. Okay, so the Edge of Night is going to be good because then when I want to engage, I can just activate that guy and then run in, and I should be able to run right through a Vagar E. That's the idea. The problem is they could very easily pop the Edge of Night when I proc it by like a Lulu Q, um, even a Vagar Q or a Braum Q, like anything like that can just go right through my Edge of Night. Okay. I mean, the ultimate is here. We have got the ulti. You got two redemptions. These cowards. Okay. So, with his EV now. Damn, I kind of wanted to engage on that a little bit heavier, but. Ow. Hmm. Oh! Oh, how did that miss? Okay, well, we got, I mean, we got the barrier out of him, so I guess that's something. No, oh, I couldn't get out! I was right on the edge! I was right on the edge of that! But I got slowed. I think it was, what, like a Lulu Q or something? No, it was the Brahms Q. Damn! I was so close to escaping that ulti, but unfortunately just slightly still in it. You know... It happens. It happens, people. No use crying over a dead Zed. <laughs> but we're 11, 5, and 23. So I'm still feeling pretty good about that one. I don't even think I've landed a, like, a full ultimate combo. Where, like, I get the clone out. Like, you use your ultimate, you send your W, and you get three Qs on somebody. But the thing is, with how squishy their team is, other than, like, the Kassadin and the, um, the Braum, you don't really need all three Qs. Um, to land on somebody. But, you know, we gotta try for it. We gotta, at some point, we gotta get that. <laughs> That's how you know you got a good team. <laughs> this, is, this is this is what friends are for, people. Uh oh. Woo! Can't believe I escaped that one. We got one. Loving it! Okay. Cannot believe that we escaped that. <coughs> we got caught by the Vagar E, which really, really sucked. But then, fortunately enough, we got our ultimate off just in time. Oh! And we live to tell the tale! Oh, we might not live to tell the tale! Oh, God! No! <laughs> oh, we did it. We did it, lads. Oh my god, that was absolutely terrifying. So we got the kill onto the Vagar, we got a couple attacks down onto that turret, and then we killed the Braum. Just freaking barely survived that one. But, oh man. So yeah, we got a really good ulti off there um, when we were caught in by the Vagar. Um, kind of reset ourselves, and then we just used our W and flashed away. 
So, you know, I'm pretty happy with how that went. I'm dead. No, I am not. Ho 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 ho! Man, it's the one thing that I do love about Zed's ult. It's just that ability to, like, reset if you're in, like, a sticky situation. Oh, we didn't even need the snowball. Oh, baby! I think that's actually going to be the end of the game. 14, 5, and 30 for that one. Man, that was a bloodbath of a game. But ending it 48 to 22 in favor of the blue team. That was an awesome game playing Zed. Unfortunately, we didn't use any of the new lethality items, but they don't make sense in ARAM. But let's go and check those end game charts to see how much damage we did. So in terms of the honor, I think I'm going to give it over to Cho'Gath, just because he landed so many really, really clutch cues, just knocking people up and then diving under the turret, which was pretty damn amazing. And look at us go. We get a chest. Fantastic. Um, so we did get our S, 14, 5, and 30. We got four honors for my team, which is very, very kind of them. Um, but then in terms of the overall damage here, we did come out on top, 23,935 damage. The next closest person was that Garen at 20,992. So definitely still Zed in ARAM, a lot of fun. Much easier to land his abilities because, of course, it is just one lane. But the newly Lethality items don't really do anything in ARAM, so I'd never recommend buying them. So it looks like the tried and true Lethality build on Zed is the way to go. Thank you folks so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video